Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. So, in this lesson, I will be showing you a step by step tutorial on how to set up a table view as well as using the delegate and data source protocols in Swift 5. I hope this tutorial serves as purposeful to you in your projects and let's jump in right in right now. So as you can see you have a bunch of uh, stuff you know in the table view in the list so we are going to create something like that okay so first of all you're going to create a new extra project okay so you can call it table view table view demo for instance okay and click next save it on your Mac or MacBook okay once you get there uh, you can go to you can jump in uh, main dot storyboard okay here you can close the left side okay then the first thing to do is to click on that button to bring the this this little menu this window okay and then we're going to take an object table view and put it into our um, view controller okay so just like that don't go uh, at the bottom of the screen okay then we're going to give some constraints okay in order to fix uh, the object into our our view okay then once you, you have done that you can click on table view and then click uh, on attributes inspector and select one for prototype cells okay that means that this cell will uh, will be the template of our of all the cells in the table view okay cool so why once you have done that you can click on table view then press control and drag it to the upper button yellow button okay and select data source and then do it again to select uh, delegate okay once you have selected um, these two options that means that right now your your storyboard is connected to your code okay cool so I think one last thing is to select here uh, table view cell okay and give it an, ad an identifier basically uh, programmer programmers uh, give this name uh, to the cell so you can write simply cell um, and it will be fine okay then we can go uh, in view controller okay no don't write not right here um, here view control dot delegate and right now uh, as we are using uh, a UI table view object we need to call two protocols the first one is this one UI table view delegate and the second one is UI table view uh, data source okay so that is compulsory and then you need to call uh, these two functions it is mandatory okay so the first one is this one number of rows in section okay and the second one is cell for row at so I think uh, these two uh, names are very explicit so the first one is to give the number of of, of rows in 
the whole section okay and the second one is to design to inform what is inside uh, of each cell okay so actually in order to fill our uh, our table view uh, we need to to give uh, an array of uh, of object of stuff so we can create a list let list to be equal of uh, I don't know we can write some colors okay so the first one is red then blue then uh, maybe black then green then orange then pink etc okay I think it would be enough for our tutorial so here you have to think about uh, how can we give the number of the rows so it's very simple the first thing to do is to write uh, return as you have an arrow here so return and then what we want is the number of elements uh, included in this array okay so you just have to write the name of the array so list and then dot call the property count okay which will count uh, the number of element elements in the array okay so we are good uh, so far then here you have to create the cell so let's cell to be equal of right now we have to give the the type of the cell so it will be a ui table view cell so you can write ui table view cell open parentheses and you are going to select this one okay so the style is default and the reuse identifier is the one we have uh, chosen uh, here okay so as you can see we have written a cell uh, in here okay so you, you are going to give the same name here so cell okay like this okay but we haven't finished yet then we are going to uh, use this cell cell dot text label which is a property of uh, our cell okay and then uh, call uh, text like this okay and here you can write so the logic is uh, that we want to write the element the elements that are in the array so the first thing to do yet uh, again is to call the name of the array so it's list then you have to write index path dot row which means which simply means that for each row it's going to um, write what is inside okay and now we are good to go we just have to write return okay as we have an arrow here and simply um, call the cell okay that we have just uh, created okay and now we can launch our simulator and normally we should have our table view with all the colors uh, okay and that's what we have in here so we have all our elements uh, presented correctly perfectly so that's all for today's guys i hope you enjoyed the lesson don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet okay and uh, give it a thumbs up if you if you enjoyed the lesson i see you in the next lesson guys bye bye